up you guys the names just be here random rant time okay so I'm not the most avid of all gym goers uh, actually recently I haven't been going to the gym as often as I should be that being said I came back today and I saw things I saw things I saw things yeah um, to put it simply there are certain people at the gym of uh, <laughs> The more experienced, older quality, and male that enjoy public nudity. And by public nudity, I mean just the towel and oops, I dropped my towel. Oh no, I'm gonna go reach down and bend over my towel in slow-mo kind of person. And it's, it's not okay. I just wanted to take a piss, man. And I went in there and I saw things that I wish I had never seen. Yeah, um, but yeah, so there's certain things at the gym that I do not like. I do not like it when I'm trying to listen to my music in peace while I lift, and I can still hear you grunting and moaning, and dude, it's not that serious. Like, okay, if you're hitting a PR, then maybe a little grunt here, a little like, yeah, yeah, okay, that that's fine, you know, that makes sense. But I mean, if you're trying to give birth and you're not, fe you're not a female, even if you're a female, regardless of your sex, you know, whatever. But if it sounds like you're giving birth to a child while you're lifting two plates on each side for a deadlift or even squatting, bro, shut up, shut up. There's people trying to get their lift in and we don't need to hear you, do, we don't need to hear you saying that. Um, another thing, when you're, you know, minding your own business and the gym isn't even that full, usually on the weekends because everyone's out partying and doing their thing, right? I hate it when I'm on a machine and you know, get the tap on the back, get the tap on the shoulder, and the dude or the girl is like, usually a dude, let's be honest, 95% of the time it's the gym douche. And he's like, hey man, how many uh, how many sets you got left? Bro? They gotta throw a bro in there, right? And you're like, uh, in your head, you're like, get the fuck out of my face, I'm trying to lift. But you know, you wanna be polite and be like, uh, I have 17 sets left, just to get them off your case, right? And so, you know, Nine times out of 10, they'll just be like, okay, whatever, cool. Move on to the next machine, right? But then that one out of 10, they'll just stand there, waiting, patiently, stalkingly, just looking over your shoulder, you know, waiting for you to finish those 17 sets. And they'll count it. They'll be like, all right, he did one. All right, cool. He's resting, cool. Two, all right. All the way to 17, right? And then once you're done, he's gonna be like, all right, man, you done? And you'll be like, all right, fuck it, all right, I did say 17. All right, cool, 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 whatever, here, take it. I hate that so much. There's a trillion under, uh, other machines for that reason. Just go and use those other machines, bro. We need a B. Yeah, I added a bro. Bro, B-R-O, bro, with a V sometimes, right? But yeah, I just thought I should say that because there's a couple things that just pissed me off. Another thing, when you're using chalk and you're not doing heavy lifting, I went to go grab a, a couple of 30 uh, pound dumbbells so I could do some curls, right? And like, it's all chalked up. And I'm like, okay, why would you need chalk for 30s? I understand that some of you have those pretty fingers and you don't want to mess up your, huh. oh, anyway, mess up your like perfect hands, your, your little princess hands, right? But the rest of us, we don't need that chalk. If anything, I feel like I inhaled 95% of that, and that's not cool. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, the gym is a wonderful place, and we all need to go there every once in a while. And yeah, that's the end of my rant. Um, I just felt like I needed to get that off my shoulder because I'm scarred as of today. Um, and I hope you guys never witnessed that. Yeah, the names be here. You guys have a great rest of your day.